Hello. Chris here. Um, right. Whilst my wife makes a spectacle of herself, I'm, uh, I'm going to start talking about some beer. Um, talking about beer, I've got one in front of me. It's a Hop Me Up from the Hop Me Up Brewing Craft Brewing Company. And it's their Go West. So it's their take on an American West Coast IPA. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Um, I'm quite excited, I think. I like the uh, the American style IPAs. Um, this is from Lincolnshire, not a place that I traditionally associate with um, America or the west coast of America, or even the east coast of America. Um, maybe somewhere like uh, North Carolina. I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere dull. Um, maybe that's not very dull. I don't know. I don't live in America. Um, I don't live in Lincolnshire either, um, but I'm, I'm presuming that's quite dull. I'm pretty f sure it is. Anyway, so the Hot Me Up Craft Brewing Company Go West. Um, they're making a bit of a thing about the yeast, saying it's the hallmark of a natural beer. Camera says this is real ale. Little sticky thing there. Um, this is another of the beers. I've, you may have noticed a number of IPAs popping up. Um, I've got the IPA box. What, where is it from, love? Yeah, the real L shop. Um, she's gonna double check that for me now. Yeah. The real L store dot com. The real L store dot com. Um, these guys. Check out what they've got. They've got a number of decent looking box sets, and lots of them are camera based beers. Um, so I'm gonna open this one up. Nothing fancy on the bottle cap. A little bit of dust. Um, this is good until April 2012, so a couple of months left in it. There's smoke there on the opener, but not very much. Nice dark brown bottle. Uh, light brown. Dark brown. Middle brown. Brown. And the colour. The colour, what do we say about the colour? It's golden. Looks lovely. Let's get rid of it. Oh, made an of it. Never mind. I'll mop that up in a second. You're making a mess again. Yeah, I've made a mess. Um, this is what happens when you pour a beer aggressively, um, particularly if you don't know the character of it. Never mind. Worst things happen in China, eh? Let's get that in there. Now the advantage of pouring it aggressively, like this. Uh, give me two seconds, I'll be back now. Is that you're going to get a bit more of a hit on the aroma. Um, so I'm going to stick my great big straws into this. And see what I can pick out. There's, there's a tropical hit in there. Let's show the consistency of the head. By the way. Look at that. That's solid, that. It's not going anywhere. Um, what are we getting with the colour? Doesn't look like much movement in there at all. Um, I can't pick out any as things stand. Almost on the hint of being cloudy, I would say. Um, unusual for this style of beer. Let's try, try the nose again. Something in there I can't quite put my finger on, so I'm going to put my mouth on it instead of my finger and see if that helps. Wow, there's a big 
hop wallop in there. And that comes all the way through the beer. Every part of your mouth is hit with hops. It's not it's not a clean tasting beer, this. Um It's a very citrusy, but citrusy in a particular way. The citrusy in a way that it's the skin, rather than the flesh, rather than the pith, it's the skin of the citrus. This is, this is quite lemony, I would suggest. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's actually quite tart, almost. Of course. Okay, second opinion there. Let's see, what, what do you get from the smell? Oh, whoa. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. I don't know. This is the peculiar thing. Same as happened here. I had to go back for some more just to try and pick out what was in there. And it's really hard to place. I think it is like lemon zest. Yeah. Um... No, this isn't a lemon zest. Is it is something that I've encountered in in, in West Coast style, in, <coughs> excuse me, IPAs before, but it's not something I've encountered in such abundance. This is like, it's like chewing on a lemon. No, do you know what? It should be really horrible, and the first mouthful is, but I'd go back to that. Well, I am going back to it, um, and you can't have any more. Get out. Yeah. It's slightly masochistic, I would suggest. Mm. Yeah, because the bitter comes all the yeah. way through. The bitter is on the front of your tongue, it's on the middle of your tongue, it's on the back of your tongue. So the aftertaste is making these bits of your face oh. hurt. But when you've done that, you want to have a bit more again. Um, yeah. I would suggest this is a big, lemony, hoppy beer. <laughs> I think it's... It is what it says on the bottle. It's their take on a uh, uh, West Coast American IPA. I haven't had loads of them, but the ones that I've had have been probably quite good ones. So it's difficult to judge against that. But um, fair play to work for them, to them for having a go. Um, I think it stands alone as a beer. Yeah, this is good. To see, good to see a, an English brewer having a go at this style. Um, obviously, I've had better. Better takes on it, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be not overly jumps. I'm, I'm I'm gonna give this a seven. It's worth it. It's worth checking out, if only for the fact that it's quite interesting. Um, I don't think I've hit anything like this. Um, in terms of the, you know, you can see there's, there's no carbonation in there. Was that around like that? Nothing doing. Bit of lacing on the glass. I mean, it's it's well, it's well conditioned. You can see some of the bubbles just coming through now. But it's that smell. That smell is really. There's lemon and a touch of rubber in there. I, I, that's that's yeah. all I can yeah. all I can say about it. So seven. And it's, and not, that, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yeah, and it tastes nicer than it smells. It's a it's a generous seven. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. Um, anyway, nice to see you all. Not that you can see me, or vice versa. Um, good night.